everyone, my name is Chris Tonagis and welcome to today's lesson. I'm going to call out some characteristics. If a characteristic describes you, please stand up. Plays a musical instrument. Loves to draw. Plays on a sports team. Likes to take naps. Goes to church. Very nice. A lot of you stood up. Different characteristics make up our identity, which means they may make us who we are. Think about ways your identity is different from and similar to other people you know. People who followed Jesus were always trying to figure out his identity. They wanted to know just who Jesus was. Let's pray together. Creator God, thanks for giving each of us a unique identity. Help us to be transformed by knowing that part of our identity is that we are each your children. Amen. Okay, now we're going to watch a video. Life can be tough when we don't understand why things happen the way that they do, but we don't need to be scared of mysteries. Let's watch to see what mystery the world kids are talking about today. Go ahead and watch the video. Today, it's a day of days. I finally get to go to Nazareth now, the local theme park where Bible stories come to life. <gasps> there it is. There's the drop tower of Babel. And Jad the Baptizer River Ride. I'm saving the best for first. I'm riding on the Transfigurer. The Transfigurer? But isn't that a ride for older kids? That is precisely why I want to ride it. The ride clearly reveals the secrets of Jesus' Transfiguration. Are you sure you can handle it? It looks pretty intense. I've made up my mind, Ottoman. I will not rest until I understand the transfiguration. To the transfigurer! <laughs> Adeline, you'll ride the transfigurer with me, won't you? I'm on my way to the Red Sea Wave Pool. I have to hurry if I'm gonna catch the 11 o'clock parting! Jax, buddy! Just the man I wanted to see. You want to ride on the Transfigure with me, don't you? How do I know you're not gonna trick me? Ha! <laughs> trick you? On a field trip? This isn't fun and games, Jax. This is about unraveling the mysteries of the Transfiguration. It looks scary. It very well may be. But we must see for ourselves. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, maybe. The feeling is mutual, Jackson. <laughs> Welcome to the Transfigurer. The Transfigurer is not recommended for those of heart conditions. Have a blessed journey. just happened? It's... it's all a blur, but I'm changed forever. Remember the Transfiguration by purchasing a photo collage of your trip out Mount Tabor, 1995. There we are! That was when Jesus' face started glowing. I remember now! It was so mystical and otherworldly! <gasps> that was when Jesus was praying and Moses and Elijah appeared, as if from nowhere. Placing Jesus in the company of Israel's holy people. <gasps> and that was when the voice spoke to us. This is my son, whom I have chosen. Listen to him. And here's the big drop at the end that all roller coasters have. That part was scary, but straightforward. Huh. I think we just had a glimpse of what it must have been like for the disciples to see the transfiguration. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't understand any of it. Uh, I don't think the disciples did either. 
At least, not right away. True. Are you two gonna buy anything? Or just stand there? We are going to ride the Transfigurer again. Come along, Jackson, old pal! Our destiny awaits! <laughs> oh boy! All right, now let's pause and answer these following questions. Okay, now we're going to talk, we're going to have time for our Bible story today. Jesus and three of his disciples go up to a mountain where Jesus' Jesus's appearance changes dramatically. Uh, this, is, this change is called the transfiguration. When Jesus is transfigured, his true identity as both human and God is revealed. Let's read to find out how the disciples discover Jesus' full identity. So the transfiguration, which is from Luke chapter 9, verses 26 through 38. Jesus and three disciples, Peter, James, and John, hiked up a mountain to pray. As they prayed, Jesus changed. His face and his clothes became dazzling white. What's happening, whispered James. Peter squinted, I can't look, it's too bright. You have to look, John insisted. Moses and Elijah just appeared. Moses and Elijah were two prophets from long ago. They talked with Jesus about things that would happen soon. Peter, James, and John were tired from their hike, but they couldn't look away. They knew a visit from Moses and Elijah was very important. Peter shouted, Jesus, it's good to be here. Let's stay. We will build houses for you and Moses and Elijah. James and John nodded. Where's a place that you like to stay? Suddenly a, crowd, or sudden, suddenly a cloud covered the mountain. Everything was quiet. Then a voice came from the cloud. This is my son. Listen to him. The disciples' mouths dropped open. They had never heard God's voice. The cloud faded away. Moses and Elijah were nowhere to be seen. Jesus looked like himself again. Jesus started walking down the mountain. Slowly, the, di the disciples followed. I don't want to leave this mountain, James sighed. I want to talk with Moses and Elijah. I want to stay, John agreed, and hear God's voice again. Something amazing happened here, Peter said. Something we will never forget. So pause and answer the following questions with your family. Right. It's time for some activities. So if you want to get out your me supply paper or your paper from your supply packet, it kind of looks like this. God made each of us in God's own image. We are all unique and we are all children of God. If you want to fill in the bubbles or color the page with drawings and icons that represent your identity, your interests, skills, family, friends, whatever it is that, that makes you, you. So what I did on mine, I'll kind of go through mine. I just kind of got started on mine. I've got two kids. Uh, two, I've got three kids, but two of them play soccer. Um, and so we like to go to the soccer games as a family. We also like to go to Union Omaha soccer games as a family out at Warner Park. Um, and, we, and more than likely this year, we're going to go to some UNO and Creighton games because of the weather. And uh, they're um, now playing with crowds. So I drew a couple soccer balls representing my two kids and our, our family's love of soccer. And then I turned the exclamation point here into a plane. It's not a very good plane because I'm not a very good drawer, but I did put some wings and a tail and some windows on it um, because I love to travel. I get to travel for work, so I get to go to fun places like Chicago and New York and San Francisco for my job. Um, and I love to travel outside of work. Um, so. If you want to color the whole thing, color the whole thing, I could put a, a Nebraska Huskers N in there because I'm a, a big Nebraska Huskers fan like uh, Pastor Chris. Um, I love football, so I could draw football. Um, I love pizza. Um, I think about 80% of my body is made up of pizza, so I could have drawn a pizza pie. 
on there as well. So feel free to fill out the whole thing and, and, uh, and um, would love to hear and, and show uh, other people what makes you, you. The other activity that's in your booklet today is your spot the difference um, information, which is basically get the transfiguration. So we talked about the fact that Jesus changed for the transfiguration. And so we, what we want to do for you on this is spot the differences between the two pictures. And feel free to like circle them, get a pencil or a marker or a crayon and circle them. Um, and feel free to color the pages as well if you want to. Um, and I see like one right off the bat. I'm going to give one away. I mean, it's a freebie this week. If you notice, the eyes are open in the bottom picture and they're closed in the top picture. So that's one. That's a freebie. That's a gift from me to you today. So if you want to do that and do the both of those um, activities, um, feel free to do that and, and share them with your friends and family and, and bring them to church when we do get back to church and share them with your uh, friends and family at church too. Just a note, there's eight differences between the two pictures. So I gave you one, so that means you've got to find seven others as part of that page. All right, uh, let's close with a blessing. God blesses all of us. That means me. That means you. Go and bless the world. Have a great day. Thank you.